A very good morning to everyone present there. And I would like to take up the topic today that is national income. And uh, I would like to speak about national income. National income is also known as uh, the NNP at FC. That is the national income aggregate. That is NNP at FC. Now, net national product at factor cost is also known as national income. It is the value of all the uh, final goods and services produced in a country in a year. Now, we have eight aggregates in all, starting with GDP at MP. Gross domestic product at MP, that is the value of goods and services produced in a country in a year at the market value, at the market uh, price. That is simply nothing but price into quantity produced in a country in a year. Now we come on to the second ag aggregate. That means GDP at FC. That is at factor cost. What is the value of the goods and services produced in a country in a year? Now in this, how to uh, get GDP at FC from GDP at MP. For this, you need to minus what is known as the net indirect taxes or we call it indirect tax minus subsidy or we call it minus indirect tax plus subsidy. Right? So this is the second aggregate. Coming on to GNP at MP. Now, if we have to calculate GNP at MP from GDP at MP, simple is from domestic, we have to come to national. So for that, basically, we are going to add net factor income from abroad. That is popularly known as NFIA. Now, if it is in minus, we will minus it. And if it is plus, then we will plus it. So net factor income from abroad. Basically, if net factor income to abroad is there, then definitely we are going to minus it. Coming on to the next aggregate, that is GNP at FC. So simply, if we have to calculate from GDP that is the gross domestic product at MP. From there, first we need to move from domestic to national. So for that, what we have to do is from domestic to national, again, we will be adding NFIA, that is the net factor income from abroad. And then from MP to FC, if we have to convert any aggregate from MP to FC, simply we have to minus what is known as the net indirect taxes right so this is the fourth aggregate now coming on to the fifth aggregate that is nnp at mp now what we have to see is we have to calculate as i am doing it here gdp at mp from GDP at MP, if you have to convert it to net, we can easily see that from gross to uh, national, uh, from gross to net, we have to convert. So for that, we will be minusing what is known as the depreciation, or we also call it consumption of fixed capital. So GDP at MP minus depreciation, that will be taking us from gross to net. Now from here, we have to minus, uh, we have to minus the net indirect taxes, but here it is from market price to market price. So we need not minus the net indirect taxes, but from domestic to national, definitely we will be adding net factor income from abroad. Net factor income from abroad. So these were the five aggregates. Now coming on to uh, the sixth aggregate, that is 
NDP at market price. Now from here, GDP at market price. Now we have to simply convert from gross to national, uh, from gross to net. So from gross to net, you will minus what is known as the depreciation to simply come to NDP at MP, from GDP at MP. Similarly, if we have to calculate NDP at FC, how are we going to do it from GDP at MP? From gross to net, again, you will be minusing what is known as the depreciation. And then from MP to FC, similarly, you will be minusing what is known as the net indirect tax. The net indirect tax. So basically, these were the seven aggregates. And now the final one, that is the national income, that is NNP at FC. Now, this is from GDP at MP. If we have to calculate NNP at FC, how are we going to do it? C, from gross to net, simple thing, minus depreciation. And then from domestic to national, simply plus net factor income from abroad. And then from MP to FC, that means minus net indirect taxes. So NNP at factor cost is nothing but national income. Thank you.